All right, guys, I've been MIA for about four or five months. I'm back doing some more Azariah. Um, lesson, I have not heard this before. I know some of you guys, some of you Azariah fans are like, man, you should do the translation. I like just going into it blind and hearing the composition and trying to interpret the meaning from, from the composition and the tone and the instrumentation. Uh, that's how I like doing it. You know, I'm not going to try to appease everybody. That's how I like doing it. Sorry if I lose some Azariah fans. I'm not here to make money. I'm just here to observe, listen, and kind of take it in. So here we go. Azariah, lesson. Oh, he's back in the submarine. Listing all my problems that I have to solve Wondering who I really am and what would I become at the end of the day we'll Let it flow, let it grow, and when the time comes easily let it go hmm. Well I need to say that I was built to stay One thing real quick is that it doesn't the th Oddly enough when he's saying let it grow, let it flow It's like it's not flowing perfectly with the song like he he went slow and then the third line or whatever he had like a shit ton of syllables just packed in there and then like really fast. I've noticed that about Azariah is that he doesn't necessarily time it like cohesively or like perfectly it, that in the way that a lot of um, um, artists do or pop artists or just artists in general. Like they'll get the syllables hitting right at the perfect time and he'll just like rapid fire just like fit words in. Um, that's interesting, but I'll, I'll keep playing it out. Stay strong every time when life is miserable. But deep down, I've been feeling like a waste of space. But I know one day I will find my way back to you. Ooh, 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 there's something miserable in every syllable you say. Hey. There's something miserable in every syllable. Man, that's pretty cool. And it's got like a dark tone while he's singing that. Wow. Man. This is not a place to stay. So take one more deep breath and let me fly high like an eagle. Don't let them control me. Born down Babylon. I won't let them slaughter me. Burn down Babylon with peace. Uh, is Babylon? I don't think Babylon is in Hungary. I know Americans. We don't know geography. I know. Get get, get the jokes out. Um, but Babylon, would that have been Sum Samaria, ancient Samaria? I mean, I, I know, oh, shoot, I don't know where that would have been, but that's interesting. Wow. Burn down Babylon with peace, man. There's so much in here. Um, we'll just keep going. I like that. He's speaking in English and it looks like the Hungarian's about to start, but let's rock with it. Dude, so he has the trumpet accent. He's he's obviously got this reggae, traditional kind of reggae bounce. Um, and then he has the trumpet accent come in real nice like. Uh, he had the saxophone kind of doing like some riffing and, and uh, some solos in there. Interesting, man. I really like, you know, Azariah doesn't even seem like a... he. It's like he uses pop elements, but he's not like a... In, in America, when we think pop artists, we think um, industrialized, commercialized, like a, like a, I don't know, like a Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande. All the beats sound the same. They don't really write the lyrics. I don't know how much of the composition they do. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, but, but, you know, maybe a pop artist in a different, you know, in, in Europe or, um, you know, in Hungary would be a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure, but I do know... Um, I do know that he does a lot of the instrumentation himself and and I really like um like these these little accents he does the trumpet accent in the 
the saxophone solo real nice wonder i mean I, his english lyrics are very deep they're they're not like you can't draw the meaning instantaneously like i feel like there's a, a main meaning that you can kind of surmise right away um but there's there's a, a second layer like the fly like an eagle um i won't let let them burn down we um you know that's kind of vernacular in in the jamaican like we for us um but, you know, I, I also wonder if the fly high like an eagle could be a reference to um, now. I, I once again, you know, Americans always think the world revolves around us. But I do wonder if the American or the eagle reference could if he could be somehow referring to, you know, the individualism that, you know, is, is supposedly known in the United States of America. I wonder if that's a reference. Maybe not. I'm just saying, you know, it, it could possibly be one. Um, but either way, you know, it's it, the interesting thing to me is burn down Babylon with peace. So I, I wonder if he's just trying to, like, kind of culturally revolt and, and you know, start a new wave of thought and consciousness. Not obviously with peace, meaning not through violence. So I wonder if there's kind of like a cultural revolution, so to speak, that he wants to, you know, kind of influence people's thought and open up their minds to different concepts that they wouldn't have been, you know, introduced to before, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I like that. Yeah, maybe it's American in me, but I like that electric guitar, man. Wow. So it's interesting that he says we all come from the jungle and, and that's where you face your fears. Um, obviously, you know, some of that could be a reference to we all, you know, some, the, the archaeological consensus is that we all kind of come from, um, you know, m modern day uh, the, the Middle East, basically. Um, and, you know, we all come from the same place from nature and then, you know, we evolved from cavemen. But there's, I feel like there could also be a, another meaning of, 
we all come from the jungle. He says the jungle is where you face your fear. And that could be just like a dark place. We all come from a dark place. And, y you know, so we need to learn to love each other because we've all been through different struggles. That could be a secondary meaning, I you know. And, and based on his English lyrics being very deep and layered, I feel like that could be uh, maybe a meaning you know, to be surmised from that. Um, I do like how it, it kind of drops and he switches tones for that jungle part. Uh, it kind of drops to a, a less upbeat, like a darker um, composition near the end when he's talking about the jungle. I think that's really cool. And definitely, I would say on purpose, uh, that would be my guess. Um, but man, I really like Azariah. And once again, shout out to I don't know if I'm supposed to say her name, but shout out to the Swedish gal, uh, the the Azariah super fan. Azariah's grown, man, and um, he's, I, I mean, really talented, and I really like the way that he puts songs together, and there's so much variation as well. That's the thing that's so fascinating to me is, like, pop songs, at least commercialized pop, it's like it's the same five notes or, like, same four chords over and over and there's a little variation there's usually a bridge and then it's back to the chorus and it's really boring and lazy Azariah's like like neo pop like new pop um i i would say that this is it's very there's high variation and there's a lot of artistry that goes into it it sounds poppy but it's it's so much better composed um than than the commercialized horseshit that a lot of us hear uh at least in america i can't speak for what's popular in hungary and, and other places but um man azariah i really like this cat but i'll wrap the reaction up guys you guys take care stay safe